Thanks for watching everybody. From my experience, conditional formatting in Google Sheets is one of those things that isn't as comparable in Excel as it normally is. It can be quite limited actually, unless you know the ins and outs. In this video, I'll show you how to format one cell based on what you type or select in another cell. This is one of my most used forms of conditional formatting. Let's dig right in. I am going to take 7 seconds to ask you to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Also, please hit the like button and comment on what you are looking to use conditional formatting for. Doing this will do a few things. It means you'll get notified anytime I post a new video, which is about once a week. It'll also help promote my channel and get the videos out there for more people to see. Okay, so let's dig in. I get a lot of questions about how to format a cell based on what is typed or selected in another cell. For instance, if A1 says one thing, turn B1 a different color. In this example, I have a list of six agents. Each quarter, they are required to take four training modules that cover legal compliance and company policy. When an agent passes a module, I want to have the cells turn yellow after I check the box indicating one is complete. I also want the entire row to turn green when I check the complete box, indicating they've taken and passed all required modules. So as we go through this, we'll break it down into two forms of conditional formatting. The first is having a cell turn a certain color based on what is in that same cell. The second is having a cell or multiple cells turn a certain color based on what is typed or selected in a completely separate cell. I have a blank template over here on the second sheet, so we can work through it together. Let's look at option number one first. This one is really simple. You'll notice that when I check the box in B2, it changes from false to true in the formula bar and back to false when I unselect it. I'll just select all of B2 through E7, and then from the format drop-down list, I'll select conditional formatting. From there, I'll select text is exactly from the drop-down list. Then I'll type true where it asks for the value or formula. I'll change the fill color to yellow. Now I can just hit done, or I can add another rule that changes the cell red if the cell says false instead of true. That's up to you. Now when I check the boxes, the color turns from yellow to red, and when I uncheck them, they turn back to red. The next step is to set up conditional formatting that turns the entire row green if the complete box is checked. This one is going to be a bit more tricky, but still pretty simple. Let's focus on the first row, and we'll set up the formula so that we can copy it down to the rest of the rows. So I'll highlight cells A2 through F2. Then select conditional formatting from the format dropdown. Or in most cases, it will likely show up on the side already indicating that you have conditional formatting set up in some of these cells already. So I'm just going to click add another rule. From there, I'm going to ensure that the right cells are selected. And they are because it says A2 through F2. That's where I want to apply the formatting I'm setting up right now. Now I want to scroll down and select custom formula is from the format rules drop down. Now I want to say that if F2 is true by typing equals F2 equals true. Now in order to apply this to the entire range based on this one cell, we need to add a dollar sign in front of the F to let Google Sheets know that you will always focus on what is in the cell in row F. I'm going to change it to a color green that I like. Now I can just hit done. You'll notice that only the first and the last cell of the row turn green. That's because conditional formatting in Google Sheets is layered in the order you add it. If I select this row again, you can see that the green color is at the bottom. If I drag it to the top, Google Sheets will look at this rule first. All right, so let's say we need a cell to be a certain color if another cell is blank. I'll show you how to do that as well. Let's say I want the agent's name to remain red until a completion date is added in column G. I just need to add another rule by clicking on cell A2, then add another rule. Select custom formula is from the drop down. In the value or formula box, type equals G2 equals double quotations, which means the cell is blank. Now I'm going to pick red text and no fill color. Then I'm going to hit done. Now I need to highlight the row and drag this one to the top to make it the most important. Let's test it out by adding a date. Now I should be able to copy the conditional formatting in this row and paste it to the rest of the rows. I'll do that by selecting the entire row and hitting Ctrl C to copy. Now I can highlight the rest of the rows and right click. Hover over Paste Special and select Paste Conditional Formatting Only. The last step is to validate that all of our formatting works. All 
A quick way to clear all the checkboxes is to type false in cell B2, then hitting Ctrl C to copy it, then select the rest of the cells and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste the values only. And that's how you set up conditional formatting in one cell based on what's typed or selected in another cell. I hope you learned something. I'm interested in how you are using conditional formatting. Let me know in the comments if you'll start using advanced conditional formatting after watching this video. See you next time. Hey guys, how you doing? If you learned something from this video, you're going to want to do a couple things. First, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. If you do that, you're going to be the first one to get notified when I post a new video, which is about once a week. I'd also ask that you hit that like button and the share button, and then tell me what you learned in the comment section. If you do all of those things, this video is actually going to get out there for more people to see and to learn from. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.